Hi there everyone, got a new update regarding the Hyperverse Ponzi scam. Um, the new NFT launch is going to be delayed until 2022. Now we get a lot of information and resources from online. Um, this is one website that has already covered this story. So rather than sort of rewriting it all, then I'll just go through what they've put on this website. Um, because what they've put on here is fact and telling you exactly what is going on um, with Hyperverse Ponzi scheme. So after announcing December the 10th, the launch deadline um, came and went and now the new NFT Ponzi game is going to launch in quarter one 2022. Um, so these are the global uh, presentation launch people it was supposed to be Monday the 13th of December and as, as we've just said has now been put back until first quarter of 2022 um, so these are the people that were going to be speaking there uh, Hyperverse was initially supposed to launch somewhere between the 6th and the 10th now being pushed back so this is more about the Hyperverse uh, ecosystem launching the first quarter there so that's delayed so these are just screenshots of what hyperverse have actually done um, and this is where the information has actually come from so it's not made up information like some some idiots that come on here and say but on the videos um, this is actual information that has come from hyperverse itself um, so I'll let you read through all of this I mean you can um, pause the video and read it through it at your own leisure if you wish rather than me reading it all out because it's it's uh, you know it's it's all there for you to see um, little bits of snippets here let alone a thousand professionals claims are employed here well based on the website being a cheap off-the-shelf $79 template these websites that you see like hyperverse you can buy these Ponzi sites off the shelf for around $79 and then um, you'll either get them to bolt on other stuff which will take it up to a few thousand dollars or you get your own programmers to program that software for what you want it to do so the templates there with most of the features so you know one of these sites can be around two to three thousand dollars with all the add-ons so seeing as the amount of money that they take in you know millions of dollars a couple of thousand dollars is peanuts um, for these off-the-shelf Ponzi scheme websites um, we've got here leverage your earned rewards so they're talking about um, a 300% return on investment Ponzi scheme they don't want you to say that they want you to hide the fact this is all semantics because it is what it is you put your money in as an investment and they give you a passive income return on your investment up to 300% return on your investment which is a classic Ponzi scam the authorities see right through this so it's all semantics whether you say it whether you don't say it their compliance team will say you can't say it in videos you can't put it out there you can't write it you can't tell people that it's all BS because at the end of the day a Ponzi scheme it is what it is it doesn't matter whether you say it or not it's a Ponzi scheme so uh, the authorities will be hot on that case um, so let's just scroll down here so you can see here look membership rewards passive rewards given seven days a week triple in 600 days so as we've just touched on here hypertech instructs hyperverse affiliates to pretend the above isn't a passive 300 percent return on investment opportunity again they try to put it in the word in they tell you not to say these things it's return on investment but of course it is it's money in money out it's as simple as that then you've got Rodney Burton that uh, he sort of seems to rank high in this uh, dressed in pajamas <laughs> and uh, claims to be spending hundreds of thousands of dollars a night on his Ponzi ill-gotten gains um, pictures of his watches and all this, the normal BS that they come out with and then we've got Hyperverse owners Ryan and Sam haven't been seen in public for months they're on the run the liquidators in Australia are after them for upwards of um, 40 million Australian dollars close to 50 million Australian dollars now uh, website traffic and um, 
analysis suggests the majority of the high perverse victims are based in the US followed by the UK and Canada um, the UK authorities the FCA have already issued a fraud warning here regarding hyperfund and hyperverse um, other ones other warnings will be coming out around the country um, and yet still people will believe that hyperverse is a legitimate opportunity so that's the information there um, regarding hyperverse put back now delayed till 2022 if I find any more information I'll record a video and upload it for you to see so feel free to like share and subscribe to the channel and we'll keep you updated on all the Ponzi schemes and pyramid schemes that come and go over the next weeks months and years have a great day